Hey everybody, it's Paul Goff, so welcome to the home of the Paul Goff Physio Rooms here in the northeast of England. The question I received today was all about employees and uh, basically how do you know when it's right to, um, to bring employees into your business? Because the gentleman who asked the question um, seems to think that he right now isn't ready uh, to take on the debt that an employee um, brings. So here's why um, you should never see employees uh, or why most PTs are never ready to bring on um, a staff PT or an admin assistant. It's quite simply because they see the, um, the employee as a debt, all right? Employees are assets, assets in a business. Assets, people are your biggest asset in a business, okay? So when you look at an employee as a, as a grudge hire, then yeah, they're gonna cost you money. But if you're looking at a, a person and, and you're staring in the eyes of an individual who can connect with and communicate uh, and can engage with your perfect patients in a reception, on a telephone, over an email, via an SMS, text message, whatever. If you look at people as being able to add value to your business, then you really can't afford to live without um, an admin or a, a receptionist or whatever it will be. So. We need to switch the way of thinking. And again, it, it just, it's just bad business. Um, it, it's just looking at it in the wrong way. If you see the member of staff as being able to, um, to contribute to revenue, which they do, because an admin's assistant is not just about sending an email or answering the phone or making a cup of coffee. It's about adding value to the relationship, building equity into your business's brand. And that's what the right person will do for you if you hire the right person. So it's not a case of looking at an employee and thinking, how can I get away with the cheapest possible employee? It's how can I find the best possible employee, pay them as much money as I need for them to be able to add value to my business. Because if a, a, an asset comes into your business, the goal of an asset is to bring revenue into a business. The goal of revenue is to create profit. And the goal of uh, profit is to cash the thing at the end for you to be able to live the life that you want to be as a, as a business owner. So stop thinking about um, employees as, um, as a debt and not being able to afford them. Think about how you can hire somebody that you can't afford not to have in your business. Because if you get those and they're out there, they will add significant value to your life. Dare I say it, most admin and most um, reception teams, if you get them right, they're able to add more value than most PT skills. Now, putting that out there because I firmly believe it, I built this business on the back of employing fabulous admin, reception, front of house, customer service. So much so that if you asked me who I could live without, if I could live without the physios in that clinic, I, I would try, I really, really would. Because the customer service is what's most important. The customer experience, that customer journey is vital. If we don't get that right, I don't get to provide a great physical therapy service. So switch the way that you see it, switch the way that you think. And if you're a solo practitioner right now, thinking about employing an admin assistant, then yeah, you might have to go three or four months without the money that you're used to, because you will never be ready for it. But over three, four, five, and six months, if you employ the right person, they will add revenue to your business. Then it's up to you to turn that revenue into profit, profit into cash, do with it what you want once you do have that cash. That's it for now, I'll talk to you again soon.